All right, let's do this. What's up, everyone? Empower Q is here bringing you some more League of Legends action. We are bringing you some Aatrox in the top lane. I don't know if you guys have been watching any Rift Rivals, but Aatrox has actually been pick or ban. So I wanted to bring you guys the the build that Buipo did for Fnatic at the game-winning one against um, Echo Fox. Is Grasp of the Undying, you actually go for a really big healing uh, type build, where you don't hopefully miss all of your abilities. Oh, big hit. Uh, you just get a ton of sustain, so that's kind of the idea of the build. You get the grass procs, you're going to get, um, I got second one in Revitalize, so it's going to be very hard to force me out of lane once I get my level 2. So, already popped the potion, there we go. Uh, the good thing too is, Aatrox is, well it's not the good thing, but Aatrox is really susceptible to ganks. So they have a Teemo jungle, which should make this a little bit easier for me. You fucked up, sir. Oh, baby. Got the flash. That da early game damage is insane. Um, Warwick should come top. I'm going to try and wait to save my dashes. Oh, God. Ugh. That's free. This is free all day. I'm going to wait until I'm level 3 here, because then I can try and catch in my W. Unless he walks up or something stupid. Ooh, baby. What are you doing? Gonna pop a potion here. Alright, so I'm gonna try and save my dashes. Oh my god. Well, back it up. Try not to miss all my CS still. Okay. Let this push in. Probably back in. Alright, level Q second. Alright, they got the ward down. I really want to take advantage of the fact that uh, he does not have his flash. To force that out early. Alright, I got my double stat dash, so. I want to get in range to hit him with my W. So we're gonna try and hold this wave out a little bit out this way. Just playing like a little baby. And range matchups too, you can actually take Comet. He's probably dead. Yeah. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, you catch up. So what you wanna do is you wanna shoot out your W and then immediately hit them with Q. Oh my God, I cannot hit a cannon minion to save my life. Painful. Push this in real quick. Kale should be teleporting, yup. Ignore my absolutely awful CS right now. Holy moly. There we go. Now I can uh, reset. I'm an embarrassment. Pay no mind to my CS. And then I'm actually going to get another... I want to get as much early game pressure as possible. So I'm going to grab another Doran's Blade. And... Uh, I'll wait and then grab Boots. The movement speed is going to be really helpful. I'm just going to TP back. I don't think anything's going to happen here. They got three down right now. So, I still have a flash advantage, too. I right, got my ultimate. Hold the wave out. Just walk right over here. It's not frozen, but it'll push much slower. So, Kayla's still not level 6, so I'm going to want to play very aggressively. As long as he doesn't die, that's fine. I can keep the wave frozen and deny some CS. Alright, seems to be okay. I pinged, buddy. Don't miss this one. Ugh, got it! <laughs> so, it's slow pushing out anyways. We don't have a freeze, but we are still going to be denying minions. Damn. Thought I could catch up. That's alright. Cooldown's pretty low. Look for the aggressive play. This is gonna push out anyway, so. Oh, 
Oh, I really think that was in range. Oh, hi. That's a level advantage here. This is pushed in. Gotta get a ward down. I said before, I'm not doing great on CS, but that's okay. We got a nice big hit there. Got that big healing hit. Nice. Another hit there. I'm just gonna sustain it all back up. Yeah, I don't honestly remember if I talked about the build. It's a Death Stance first item, which gives you all of the sustain that you need into Sterix, into Black Cleaver, Guardian Angel. It's gonna be the full build. Push this in. Hope oh, I can go help Warwick. Oh my god. Emo? Emo. Lame. I won't have my Q. We can take this, yep. Bye, Teemo! What an idiot. <laughs> what are you doing? Because Teemo jungle was going to be a really good idea. But you just do so much damage and have so much sustain. Like, I haven't gone back to lane, but look at my health. So yeah, like I said, what you want to do is hit with W, and then go in for your Q. And that secures them into W, because when you hit them with the W, that cage pops up and it pulls them back in. Okay. Oh god. Got it. This is slow pushing out. I'm gonna have my ultimate again in 10 seconds so I can go in for a big play. So you need four minions for a free, so we could slowly just hold this out of range of the tower. I like killing the melee minions first if I can, just because they tend to be the stupid ones that walk on their lane. Max E second, because that is your increased damage to healing. Make sure mid actually knows this time, even though I pinged it before. Cool. Cannon minion goes down. So 49 to 53. I'm starting to build up a little bit of a CS lead here. Up two kills. So there's my four minions. I can't forget about uh, Kale's passive. They're not a passive or ultimate. Yep, there's that. Gotcha! Did not see the Warwick coming, not gonna lie. Probably didn't need to blow Flash, but solo kills are always more fun. We got two people up here, so let's push this tower down. Yeah. Just gonna get a ward over here, just in case. Wow, they already got bot tower. They are crushing bot lane. Woo! But yeah, so you do that W and then that. That's the combo you want to go for. That is not a good teleport. I don't know what you're doing. You are stupid. Got it! Oh god. He's probably dead. Lame. Knock up. Uh, anti healing. He's dead. Bye! <laughs> what a bunch of boosted apes. So, you see how I hit him with that W and he was trying to walk away? I either slow him or knock him up with my Q. Obviously, preferably knock up, but at least the slow is going to push him back in. And this passive decreases the healing, which is very, very good against um, Vladimir. So, that's the problem, if you will, with Aatrox right now. It's there's just no good counter to him. What? The best counter to him is jungle pressure. Because if I put... Automatically, my Q abilities are AoE. So it's going to push the lane. Get my death stance first. So I'm very, very susceptible to ganks. Um, do I just wait? I'm going to just chill for a second. Probably shouldn't, but I could just sell one of my Dorns. So, let's do that. 
That's fine. And then I'm going to teleport down and catch this wave. Um, but there's no good counter to him. He just has so much sustain. You got to pray for jungle pressure, which that's what's happened to me the last couple games I've played him. Because the other teams have been very well about gank. I've done a very good job with ganking me. So they just come in and gank, and you only have your two dashes to get away, or your ultimate for movement speed. But if they can chain CC you, then you're going to die. So you get all of this lifesteal and everything from the Dust Dance, and it makes it so 30% of the damage is done as a dot, and Aatrox has so much healing that usually he gets to maintain all of that health, because his passive does so much, not his passive, but his E does so much healing. There's a knock up. Uh, woo! Yeah, there we go. I don't think I have another dash. Mm, nope, back it up. Sweet. So I just used my R for the burst of movement speed. Get him in the W, knock him up. Would work much better if it wasn't the cow that could headbutt me, but that's okay. And that also gives you your other two dashes to get in range for your shorter range Q. So, for example, you hit someone with W and you Q them and knock them up. Then you can use this to dash forward and hit them. And once they're hit there, you can use your dash to hit with the third Q. Easy peasy. So we're going to go Sterics Gage next. Man, this game is a slaughter. Yikes. So, this will at least give you an impression of how to play the early game on him. His grouping is not the best. You have to coordinate really, really well, or otherwise he's just going to get kited and his ultimate's going to get wasted. Think about if you're playing against Aatrox, it's kind of like a zillion. When you see um, him ult somebody, you want to leave them at very, very low health. So if Aatrox doesn't get the healing value off of his ultimate when he revives, then it doesn't do him a whole lot of good. And right when... Uh, it's the 12 seconds is over You can uh Kill him Take this red buff Come in here I think he saw me Damn, wish I had the burst of movement speed He's gonna get away if Alistair wasn't coming, I would have hung out a little bit longer, or I would have used my ultimate if I had had it. Cool. Gonna go by, start working towards my Sterix gauge. But yeah, that's what the build's gonna would be: a Dust Dance, Sterix gauge, then Black Cleaver. So the Sterix gauge obviously just helps you survive the burst. And gives you bonus tenacity when it procs pretty much everything new Aatrox wants. So I'm going to head top. Whenever you split, you want to be on the opposite side of the next objective. So it's going to be a while, but Dragon's next objective. So I can probably split for the, um, the inhibitor. <laughs> 125 to 75. Yikes. And it's not like we really killed Kale with a bunch of jungle pressure or anything like that either. Pretty much exclusively did it ourselves. Got that 2 0 lead. Cool. Maybe they're still in this game. We'll get to show you some stuff after all. I can push this tower in. I don't know if I can do much here. Kumo's coming. Yeah, he's dead. I'm just gonna get the tower pressure. Got three of them coming, so I gotta be careful. You don't want this. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, pop my ult, get the movement speed. Big hit. Boom, walk away. Nice! I don't know what that Teemo was thinking. Gonna come help the, uh... Warwick. 
we can back it up. Seven and oh, this is why this champion is freaking pick or ban. What is it? Weeple went against Huni when Huni was on Aatrox and didn't wreck him in the beginning, but was obviously much, much more, more useful. Probably didn't need to blow my flash there, but... Better safe than sorry, what do I need? Cool, yep, I can get my... My Sterics gauge, and then gonna start working towards my... Black Cleaver next. I'm gonna wait for the health component. One of the most important stats for new Aatrox is cooldown reduction. So I wanna get the uh, Kindle Gem first. So yeah. Getting all the healing from Grasp of the Dying, super on tank, he revitalizes great, the 5% uh, increase on all of the obnoxious amount of healing I already get, or 10% if I'm below 40% health, even better. And then uh, sudden impact, because with our dashes it's going to give us that extra burst, so when you dash, you get bonus attack damage, which is 45, that's insane, so dashing essentially gives you a free BF sword. And then there's the four second sudden impact cooldown, which is pretty much up every time you dash. Nice. Take this. Dash, get that extra attack damage. I like to just use one dash and hold it. I'll use the second one if I have to later, but I like keeping one in the back pocket. So gonna head bot lane. So I think one of the smart ways to use your ultimate is actually use it as an initiation tool. I sometimes have been getting into the habit of using it uh, once the fight starts, but it's lasts for 12 whole seconds. So if a team fight's going on mid, once you get about here, it's only about three seconds to get here and you get all of that movement speed. How much movement speed is it? 180, which is a lot for, if you think about it, my movement speed is 370. So that's like an extra 50% movement speed right there. I do think. Ooh. That hit by a shroom. So, like right here, for example, if they stuck around, I could use it and run over here if we had hard engaged. We'll be fine. Back. Oh my god, what happened to his health? What happened? Oh my god, one like third of that Kale's health just disappeared. Oh, Lucian gave up. Wah, wah, wah. Didn't know he was there anyways. He gave up after one kill, that's unfortunate. Yeah, look at all of that healing. I'm not afraid of you, Timo. Oh, he got out. Stand back here. You dead. Oh! <laughs> Man. And that's that's the crazy thing about Aatrox, is he can be picked anywhere. I know um one of the LCK players was talking about how uh, if he's not nerfed soon, he could even be played mid lane. So I've seen him be taken uh, Ignite, Electrocute mid lane. Ooh. Got my emote. Um, qualified for my series. What's up? Uh, top lane, you can kind of pick him however you need to. So let's say I was going against a really annoying champion. Let's say like Teemo. Um, I could take Comet instead. Now, like I said, I wanted to show you the Rift Rivals build, which is the sustained kind of grasp of the Undying build. But you could go Comet. Uh, that's another option. If you go Comet, you can take Nimbus Cloak, which when you pop your ultimate, you get the extra 100 movement speed from that on top of the 180 you get. So you get 280. So you just fly right into, into battle. So you have to learn how to coordinate him a little bit with team fighting. But once you learn how to do that, his mid to late game is still pretty good. He does fall off uh, against Duelist especially. I know I was watching Solar Renekton and only was talking about how his late game Fiora absolutely crushed Aatrox, but it was an absolutely miserable laning experience. Same with Jax. 
Um, you have to try and move around his Qs during the landing phase, but once you get like Trinity Rage Blade, uh, you just pretty much instantly kill him. So you really have to win the early game hard to carry yourself into the mid to late game. Well, I hope you guys liked that one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget my Twitch streaming info is in the description so you can come hang out with me where I record. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.